Today I'm putting my small garden to bed for the winter. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be preparing it for the spring planting by adding fertilizer. But I'm not using chemicals. Instead, I'm using organic components I can find right in my yard to recharge the soil during the winter months. And to find these components, I'm going to start at my small fish pond. We love this little aquatic habitat and the fish and frogs that call it home. But it also serves an important function, helping me treat stormwater from my roof. I also use the pond water to irrigate my garden and blueberries as well. Not only is the rainwater better for my plants, but it has also been, shall we say, enhanced by the fish with a little organic fertilizer of their own. But there is another biological function at work in the pond. The aquatic plants are also removing excess nutrients from the water, mainly nitrogen in the form of nitrates. This water lettuce is a prolific grower and it will literally cover the pond in a few weeks. This patch was started with one plant. I remove a little at a time throughout the summer, but in the fall, I take it all out and put it to work in the garden. Here, it will serve as organic fertilizer as it returns the nitrogen it stored all summer back to the soil. If you don't have a pond, you can use grass clippings to add nitrogen to your soil, as long as you haven't used any weed killer on the grass. Add a couple inches of clippings and then cover with a layer of soil or leaves. In addition to the water lettuce, I've been growing duckweed in a half barrel to use as organic fertilizer. I'm saving a little batch of duckweed to see if it will overwinter in my basement. If it makes it, this will be my starter for next summer's batch. So once I've put down my layer of nitrogen-rich greens, I'm going to cover that with some brown organics, leaves. The leaves are carbon-rich, and that will help lock in moisture and help the greens break down and return their nutrients to the soil. With this nice topping of organic greens and browns, my garden is ready to chill out for the winter and prepare itself for the spring when it will come back to life producing veggies. Growing your own organic fertilizer, that's just another easy way to be green. Our mission is to show you simple ways you can make your life a little greener and how you can save money by doing it yourself. Helping you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for a first look at our new videos.